What is up everyone? And welcome back to a brand new video. Today's video, well, it is the Wide Warehouse Story Explained. So, many people have been saying the Wide Warehouse the first one they could get, there's some bits of them, because if you don't get one bit of a story, then basically, you're not going to understand any of it. So, let's start number, the Wide Way House, it, how it all began. So, number one. Alex, a YouTuber, wanted to create a brand new video series. He wanted something entertaining, something to go viral. So, we find out the 100 videos are trending so he goes to a house thinking no he finds a book so he says he's going to do a 100 video but he doesn't know what he's going to do it about so he reads a book and the pages start turning saying about a family and blah 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 about the wide way house and a clown and all that so then Alex does a little bit of research. So he gets a phone number for Waterloo Middle School. At this point, we don't know anything about it. And he calls an, a receptionist. So they answer and she books at him an appointment to, to talk with someone called Grace Jared. At this point, we don't know any, any about it. And, you know, that it. So... He rings the next day just to make sure they confirm that the appointment is still going. So someone called Principal, Principal, um, Principal, um, what they call Principal Brian, and they say he says that there has never been an appointment that the that the school was burnt down twenty years ago today. So we don't know what that means at this point, and Alex is a little bit confused because she's sure to be talking to someone, the receptionist. But then he hangs up, and blah, and that's all we know about it. We're like, Principal Brian, we don't really know what he's about. We'll find out about him later in the story. So then Alex is at enough. He goes to the Wide Way House, checks it out. Not that bad, but finds a note on the door from Grace Jard saying, Every time you come to the house, someone you love will die. At this point, Alex has been to the house twice, so but no one has died. So he calls his best friend, Chirpy, who thinks it's all, he, he tells him he shouldn't go back because it's a danger, it's dangerous. And it's, it's just a bad place to be because bad stuff will happen. He doesn't listen to Chirpy. And he want, Chirpy wants to see Daisy and Cindy. So Alex goes to get Daisy and Cindy to find out they're dead. So that's the two times Daisy was one and Cindy was two. The dogs are dead, Daisy and Cindy are dead. And he goes back on the phone with Chirpy. Chirpy tells him not to go to the house again. But Alex... Alex knows something's going on. So he goes to the house again. To summon the clown. At this point, Alex is doing the biggest mistake he could do. So he summons the clown. Nothing comes. Blah, blah, blah. He throws the note away. Boom. Goes on the phone. Weirdly. Principal Brian rings him to find out he actually someone called Old Man Sam. And to their not to his knowledge, Alex's knowledge, Old Man Sam is killed by the clown for visiting the house. And he finds out that Old Man Sam, aka Principal Brian, has been stalking him for months in a black car. So then um he rings Chirpy, but to his knowledge, someone is trying to break into Chirpy's house to kill Chirpy. Chirpy tries to describe what he's doing, blah, blah, blah. He tells him he's got to stop this. 
it's too late already. He can't just give up now. He must, four, what, four pe people have died? And he needs to stop. So then Chirpy dies and the clown says some stuff about he'll never defeat, Alex will never defeat him and blah, blah, blah. Alex has had enough. He gives up. He's in his room and he gives up. He does not know what to do anymore. All of a sudden, stuff is being thrown across the room. We don't know what this is. Could be a demon. Could be something. The next thing, Alex is flung back in his chair, flies off and gets knocked out unconscious. He wakes up at around night, Halloween night, at the wide warehouse. It's all dark and the clown, he comes face to face with the clown. He's got a torch. The clown knocks Alex out again and the clown comes up. We see what the clown looks like and boom. We come to find a very insane revelation. We find out that Alex has actually been evil all this time and he's been the clown. He's evil. He killed Charlie. He killed Daisy and Cindy. And oh man, Sam. We find the thing. He goes to a shopkeeper. Kills the shopkeeper. He kills a cat. He kills his mum. And he collapses. It's looking as if the clown, aka Alex, is getting weak. It ends off with a huge revelation that many people have been trapped by this before. We don't know who these people are that have been trapped by the wide warehouse. And boom, a black car drives by. Is old man Sam still alive? Alex gets, before Alex should do anything, he gets knocked out by a demon because he was sent, he, we know he's been, we don't know what it means, but it, as if a clown is inside of him. He goes back to normal saying, don't go to this house. And then the clown attacks him. And then he says, go. And then he got knocked, knocked out. And it's over. A news reporter, news reporter then comes on in the post credit scene for number one. And we can see that um, it says that Alex has been missing for a full month. It's November 31st. And he went, last time he was seen was October 31st. As we know, that's when he collapsed. Oh, November 1st. Was in the last time, and it's November thirty first, so a month. Um, a blah blah blah. Boom. Second movie starts off, and we've got Alex. So we don't know what happened from that time jump because we know that Alex was knocked out. The news reporter said that Alex thing, and then Alex is alive. So something we're in around January February time right now, but we don't know what happened between December and January. So basically this. December and January. We don't know what happened there. That It just time jumped through them two months. We don't know. This is a sequel for number one. So then we find out, blah, blah, blah. Alex has killed everyone in the village by now. And he's about to reveal the story about how it happened. Um, He tells it and there's three bullies. So the three bullies that bully people. And some one of them, Fiona, wants revenge. So, um, she's been doing phone calls and audio logs on how she's going to get revenge. Blah, blah, blah. It skips to a twist, a huge twist, and it reveals that Chirpy is actually alive. And that he faked his death. So, now, um, most of it's going out, and it's looking like Alex has actually kidnapped Chirpy. So, Chirpy actually fights Alex gets free and heads to the wide warehouse to do the spell and destroy Alex. Alex, what the hell? He goes, but it's too late. Alex is there and so is Charby. This is it. The final battle between the two best friends that have been friends forever but it's time. Only one survives. Charby gets a hammer and smashes it over Alex's head killing Alex. And we, but we don't know. There is um everyone at this point is thinking that Chirpy did it in self defense. That Alex is actually went for him and Chirpy did it. Blah blah blah. Ch the police arrive and arrest Chirpy. Chirpy is going down for murder, but not just one murder, four murders. The three bullies from earlier in the movie have been murdered and were found in the woods behind the wide way house. Chirpy is being questioned, but he has got an, a lawyer called Solicitor William. Solicitor William helps Chirpy do it, but he needs a little bit of help. So he hires an undercover detective 
the trench, scud at the white warehouse and find out what's really happened. He finds the hammer. He finds the hammer in the white warehouse. And then, um, because the police couldn't find that, that was hidden away in the thing. There was CCTV in the, there was a house in behind the forest in the white warehouse, which could try and see if evidence that Sharpie did it in self-defense. But he finds out the CCTV is not working, and soon enough, someone hits an undercover detective from behind and knocks him out. He wakes up to find Solicitor Cherry's body, who's evil and wants to stop Chirpy. But we do not know why she's evil and wants to bring Chirpy down. We don't know who she's working for and what is going on. So then, um, Solicitor, or an undercover detective, got a note saying, You messed up, Cherry. You had the chance to send Chirpy down, but you didn't. Now is your fate. So then, um, undercover detective talks to Solicitor William and tells him about this. Then, um, oh no, the CCTV, but, um, and then Solicitor William remembered there was another CCTV camera in the back. So they rush back to the force because it can track, it, no, I'm, I'm mistaken. The CCTV camera was not broken. It, um, the first time, it just didn't see Alex in it. So we don't know if it did it in self-defense. They went back because you could see the, the person who attacks the undercover detective in the CCTV camera. So they head back to the woods, but at this point, someone, Solicitor William and um and the undercover, de- undercover detective find out the CCTV camera has been destroyed. Someone has been there after undercover detective was there. All of a sudden, they split up, and someone, <coughs> Solicitor William, has been stabbed by an axe in the stomach. Solicitor William is dead, and the undercover detective was on the run from someone that killed solicitor William so he goes to a cabin and um, a fight breaks out and it reveals to be a person called Dippy Dippy cat's eggs and in the fight the undercover detective loses the fight and Dippy kills the undercover detective rest in peace the undercover detective and solicitor William so then they go um, Dippy we find a lot more out about Dippy so now we know that Sharpie's case and this is who Cherry was working for Dippy Cat Zags so Dippy Cat Zags was literally um was insane she's killed multiple people in the past and she is a serial killer so we learn that her, that she actually that Sharpie is guilty and she did not do it in self defense so what happens next is shocking dippy reveals that chirpy didn't do it in self-defense right and she has a plan to destroy chirpy first of all get him out of prison second of all make sure he doesn't survive no take him or be befriend him make him think she's best friends with him third of all um and chir- um, make sure chirpy um, take him to the wide way house and then kill him once and for all. So at this point, we know, at this point, in a short twist, Chirpy's a clown also. So Chirpy is the main villain at this point. Happens, Chirpy and Dippy talk. They organise a prison van crash to get Chirpy out of prison. So this is, here's Daisy. She's the one who died in the wide way house one. For um, Alex visiting the wide way house. We could see a re- re- reappearance in the wide way house frame. Question mark. Maybe. So, um. Oh, I don't mean to know what the hell's going on there. Then, in a shock, so as I said, the prison van. Cra- the prison van crashes that transports Sharpie to a brand new prison. It crashes. And Sharpie is free. He, he meets up with Debbie, blah, blah, blah. And also we got a brand new character called Christy. Chrissy, who's another inmate. And Sharpie is bribing her to, um, I forget what it was. <laughs> I can't believe it. this is the story explained. And I'm literally forgetting what that thing was. It was something, he was bribing her or something. Do what he says or he'll kill her. So then they meet up. Chris, um, Chrissy. Tells Chirp no. Someone tells Chirpy um that um what the hell? God damn! Someone tells Chirpy 
that um Debbie is evil and is trying to No, he finds the note and he knows that Chrissy Christy and Debbie are betraying him. So it all comes down to this. Who win who lives, who dies? So the meet up at the Wild Warehouse. We have a lot of people saying, I wish who because we're protecting who's gonna die. So Dippy, Christy, Chirpy, um some other people from the past that are saying this day is going to be a day we'll never forget. So it comes back to the wide warehouse. In an explosive fashion, the wide warehouse goes up in flames. The wide warehouse, they're fighting for their lives. And Chirpy gets a got the shotgun for it and kills Christy. Goodbye, Christy. Goodbye, Christy. And um, then, in a sharp twist, she says the inevitable. Dippy knows something's up with Sharpie, but he doesn't, she, she doesn't reveal much, because the wide way house blasts them back, Dippy and, Dippy and Sharpie are not died, as the wide way house is burnt down, exploded, and there's no more of the wide way house, then, in a short twist, Dippy, Chirpy goes on top of Dippy, strangling him. But then, to a thing, old man Sam is here and he knocks Chirpy out unconscious. We're all clapping because old man Sam is alive and he is here to save the day. So he gets up, too late. Chirpy wakes up, grabs a shotgun and kills Dippy. Old man Sam gets his pistol and shoots Chirpy right in the forehead, killing Chirpy. So old man Sam, Chirpy, Christy and Dippy are dead, but old man Sam is still alive to tell the tale. He tells, he has a phone call with so, an audio log, reveal, but that is not it. I forgot, I, I missed a little bit. Before that, um, Alex, that thing from December to January was finally revealed that he was hiding away and waiting to strike again. Just so the police are low, low, lay low so he can make a second movie. But that's how it makes up. And then, um, blah, blah, blah. Oh, my Sam has the shocking revelation that says, Alex and Chirpy were killer clowns. But do you want to know the main thing? I am one now too. I'm a killer clown. And I'm coming to get you. Then it ends. There's no post credit scene. And there's no nothing. Plus the news, I forgot to mention the news reporter was also killed in the second movie. Boom. It's revealed that there wasn't only one killer clown. There wasn't only two killer clowns. There's three killer clowns. Alex, Chirpy and old man Sam. We're into the third movie. But it's not like the second. Someone called Stuart, we don't know about in volume one, but he will be in volume two. Has travelled back to time and time warp, and we're back to the origin of the wide warehouse. We're back to the 1960s, but no, but no, not 1960s. Around 2019 or something. Um, Grace Rodney and I'm, This is the origin, okay? Then, um, oh God, what my turn? Oh yeah. So we find out someone's marking, Alex is alive, and blah, blah, blah. We find out Grace Jard, that ghost that t dragged um, Alex from when he dragged off the chair, was actually Grace Jard, and this is how it happened. So we know, we see a grave, and it's called, the words on it is Mallory, Mallory Jard. We don't know what's going on. We've heard the name Mallory in the past movies, mainly the first movie. And nothing really else about it in the books. So, uh, blah, blah, blah. We go on. Um, we go to Alex. It's revealed he's not actually been a clown this whole time. And we, if the shocking truth is, it'll be revealed in the future movie, y'all. Uh, um, but then... Demon, someone, some, a demon is hunting Alex. Don't know what it means. Blah, blah, blah. Grace Jard is being controlled by this demon. And um, we find out how Grace 
Not the Richard died. She had over the balanced her. Old Man Sam hated her, which um, it was revealed that Old Man Sam was actually Grace Jard's dad. Um, Old Man Sam is Ma Mallory Jard's dad, so it's really most Sam Jard. So we'll just call him J Jard, J Sam Jard at this point. So blah blah blah, Sam Jard's away, and then um, we find out the demon's been controlling. Alex is being prepared for the worst, so um, the demon has had enough, and he orders um. Orders Grace Jard to kill Alex Gilroy once and for all. So she listens to him because he'll kill the demon will kill her unless he does the thing. So it comes down to the final showdown. Ends the movie volume one off with um a big fight between Alex and Grace. Alex is up behind and kills Grace. Finds the book and that's how it ends. So that is mainly your uh, oh, that is mainly your. Uh, the, the story explained on the whole wide way house. There's a few things I did miss out on, like the um. Oh no, that's not out yet. So October thirty first is the final volume two of the wide way house. If you guys do want me to do an extra week, five ten minute story explained for volume two, because it is kind of a lot of craziness in the volume two that we'll probably be needing to talk about. But all I have to say is, Alex Gilroy, the demon, only one survives. The Wide Way House finale, October 31st, 2022, at 8.30pm. Guys, see you then. This has been the Wide Way House, Story Explained.